So with all that in mind, uh, let's move on to our last point about what language is. Uh, language is sense. Language is about making sense. So it's about the associations that we form with, you know, our physical embodied sensations of the world and the sounds that come to represent those experiences. Um, and this is, of course, obviously true of everyday objects uh, and experiences and literal sense. We already talked about, you know, apples and having the imagery of an apple in your mind. Um, but it's not necessarily always visual. It, it requires all our senses. And it's also true of more abstract language um, and more sophisticated language. So we have, for example, orientational metaphors, um, moving Tibetan second language pedagogy forward. You know, we have a sense of looking forward or of looking back or of things of being backwards. We have structural metaphors. Speech skills are the foundation of reading skills. We have causal, metaphor, causal metaphors. Language is about making sense. We have metonymy. Uh, academia's focus is purely textual. We have personification. Oh, the text really speaks to me or something really speaks to me and ontological. Um, so there's a whole range of these kinds of metaphors. Uh, there's a really good book called Metaphors We Live By. I'd recommend reading that if you're interested in this topic. And so I won't go into any more details, but the basic point is that uh, everything that we know and everything that we're able to communicate is kind of based on these basic everyday sensory experiences uh, and different languages encode these experiences differently. So we need to build up our sense experience of the everyday in Tibetan contexts if we want to understand Tibetan, even if we want to understand highly sophisticated literature, um, it's going to be using these sorts of metaphors. So when we're talking about language, again, what is language? When we're talking about all the recent research that has been done in linguistics uh, and psycholinguistics and all the subfields, um, second language pedagogy, we're talking about how language is speech and how language is social and how language is about sense and making sense. Um, those are all ideas that we need to keep in mind when we're thinking about teaching a language or about learning one.